Are you ready to work on the Santa for the Merry Christmas bench pillow? Let's do it. Hey, Wish Upon a Quilt fans, it's time to work on the Santa for our Merry Christmas bench pillow. So today you're gonna need the black felt out of your fabric kit and the white minky and the glitter sheets. Uh, green, gold, and blue. The rest of the stitching is all in a fill stitch, so these are the only items that we need for our applique. And we'll need a 9 by 14 hoop today. If you don't have a large enough hoop, then watch in the directions. There are, um, in the instruction file, the PDF, there are instructions on how to use a smaller hoop and break it up into two different um, designs. I'm going to use the 9 by 14 hoop on the tutorial. Um, so the basting, a couple things, the basting box is just a tiny bit smaller than the design, so it will work fine. You can definitely use the basting box, no problem. Um, make sure and use latte for the face, not the salmon. The salmon color is for, uh, the details on the face and then they use, uh, latte for the actual face. So that's one quick thing to note. And I'll go over all the thread colors in the tutorial. Um, so one thing is that if you follow that number one marker that we did, um, it will stitch off center by a lot. Actually, it'll stitch off the fabric. So we're going to make some adjustments and Wish Upon a Quilt is making adjustments to the file so you can just wait if you prefer, but I'm going to go ahead and, and figure out a workaround and um, get this Merry Christmas bench pillow ready for Christmas. So join me if it works for you. I'd love to have you join me and um, I'll go over how to make it work and where to line it up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about placement for just a minute. Um, we made this number one marker um, in the very beginning, and I've drawn a marker on the top of the template of where that marker is. So if we were to line up our, um, our first stitch with that, then when we go to the top to do the stars, you can see it's gonna stitch even outside of our fabric. So that's a mistake and they're working on that, but I've figured out a workaround and so you're welcome to join me on this workaround that I think will center our Santa just fine. So instead of starting at that marker, which you can see up here, I instead decided to center it using my center guides, these little markers here on each end of the hoop. And I lined it up exactly from that point and it works really well. So from here, it's basically about two and a quarter inches from where that original marker was. And I centered it, I measured out from here and from the side. And I think it'll work really well to just have it, the Santa be the center here. And so I printed out the template and I measured it all and pinned it all and sized it all. and. This is working really well. I haven't stitched it yet. I wanted to give some information first. So you can print out the template, fold it in half, measure it up, do what I did, or I will figure out exactly what point that this is from the center or even from that first marker. I'll give some options so that you can figure out what will work for you. Um, but I think that this will center it really well. So you're welcome to join me and finish up your Christmas bench pillow in time for Christmas. Let's do it. Okay. 
Okay, so from our new center point, which is eight and three quarters from the center on the center line, not moving it up at all, just right on that center line. This is our, our new um, center mark. From that mark, let me put this template back down so you can see where it's gonna stitch. Sorry for the moving phone. Um, so from here, if I move the buttons on my machine to see where it's going to stitch, you can see that it's still on the fabric and everything is centered and it's going to stitch within our um, guide here. All right, and then back down. well within the fabric. So eight and three quarters inch from the center, I think works really great. Our Santa is um, exactly centered among our fabric. So if you want to go for it before um, the update, join me in this adventure. And let's finish up this Merry Christmas bench pillow. This Santa is gonna be so cute. Fun, fun, fun. Quick tip, don't forget that you can use these buttons to make sure that your fabric is straight and it's easy since we're gonna work on the center line. We still have that crease that goes down, sorry, my hand's in the way, right down this center. And when I push these buttons, I can see that my fabric where I'm gonna stitch is right along that center guide. So then I know that my fabric is straight. Cause there are times when you get this all in and it can be wonky and turned a little bit and Boy, you'll see it in your design. So just make sure that you use that center line down the horizontal to make sure that your fabric is straight and then go ahead and pin in place if you choose or use the basting box that's provided that either one will work great. All right, let's go.